Set back. I mean, step back. Which one are we doing? Step back. <laughs> Let's start with set back. Step backs. <laughs> set back and step back. Two different words, but they sound similar for a reason. Step back is when upper floors of a building are set further back from the street than the floors below. Step back, on the other hand, is how far a building is set back from the street. Let's start with step backs. A stepped building is pretty much what it sounds like, shaped sort of like a staircase. And steps aren't just some latest architectural trend. They're actually enforced through regulation. So let's take a step back. Step backs were introduced after the first skyscrapers cast huge shadows over the street and the buildings beside them. Shade isn't good for the property value or the vibe of a street. And it can create a really harsh wind tunnel effect, which is a little bit chilly in winter. But if a building is stepped back at an angle, sunlight can get down to the street below while preserving floor space and creating a transition to shorter buildings beside it. On to setbacks. So again, setback is just the distance from a street to the building. If you live in a residential neighborhood, you might have a large enough setback that you have room for a front yard. Other buildings, such as libraries or schools, are set back to provide space for a plaza or green space. Without setbacks and step backs, streets can feel like they're closing in on you. And the climate is a lot cooler. And with that, we hope you have a very sunny day. Please check out our other videos for more need-to-know information. We're Planifax. Please subscribe. <laughs>